What's up guys, this is Louie and we're back with a Mac video and I'm going to show you how to install iOS 13 on any iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, whatever you want, uh, even Apple TV. But before we're going to get into that, uh, this episode is actually sponsored by PDF Element 6 Pro. So PDF Element Pro is a, just a really good PDF annotation uh, app. And there's a lot of paid apps that do this, but this is one of the best ones. So we're just going to create a PDF using an image. There we go. So once we're in here, uh, we can pretty much do whatever we want. So we can just start typing, make a text box. And as you can see, it's super easy. So if you're doing this for like college or anything, you can just, it's, uh, it's literally you just, you just tap and click and Personally, there's not uh, in college. I used I started using my iPad because I couldn't find software that worked well for you know just PDF stuff. And this kind of has like the, um, the Microsoft Office vibe, so it's just really good for creating, editing PDFs. So that's pretty fancy. Anyway, thank you to PDF Element and Wondershare for sponsoring this episode. You can find the link to download this in the description below. And let's get into the video. Okay, so what you're going to want to do to get iOS 13 on your phone is you're going to go to these two links that I'll also have in the description. And the first one is betaprofiles.com. So if this is going to be different than other iOS betas because they've kind of changed the way that you do this. So you can't just download the profile and install it over the air. You have to, you need the IPSW. So how to get that is you scroll down to iOS 13 and they have all of them right here now these downloads are flooded right now people downloading so it will take like a couple of hours just to download it even if you have a high, a high speed connection if you have a low speed connection it may take even longer so if that's you i would just wait and wait till they have you know um less people downloading them so once you're downloading that you're gonna head over to the other link i have in the description and you just sign in with your apple id and you're gonna download xcode 11 beta now you need to head over to software update in system preferences because you might not be able to open uh, you might not be able to open that version of xcode you need to be on the latest version of mac os to do that so you need to run any updates i actually was not able to run it i had to download the updates you want to be on 10.14.5 minimum okay so once you have that to in actually install it on your phone is you're going to open up itunes so you're going to plug in your phone and I'm just going to set up this new iPhone, get started. And you need to open some sort of project in your Xcode because it just needs to be running. So there we go. We have it running. We're just going to minimize that. So then what you want to do, because this has to be done on a Mac, you need to hit option and um, Shoot, found my iPhone is on. You need to hit option and restore iPhone. Uh, so you hold down the option key and you click on restore iPhone. Um, it's not gonna work for me because I'm already on iOS 13, but then you would just select your IPSW that you downloaded and it will work as long as you have Xcode open. Um, I went into a project just for good measure, but as long as you have it open and installed, it'll work. That's all you need to do. You don't need to pay for a developer account. You don't need to buy anything but you do need to do it on a Mac. It does not work on Windows right now without some crazy command line stuff. Anyway, that's how you get iOS 13 running on any supported iPhone, uh, the iPhone 6S and later, including the iPhone SE. So enjoy iOS 13, enjoy the dark mode, enjoy uh, the refresh look, everything. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.